Welcome folks, welcome back to the Amazing Education Station, the Amazing Education Channel. It's not about the video, it's just simple, it's just to listen to, and it's the information you need to know. It's going to benefit you, have a healthier, happier life. If people follow the advice on this channel, we would have a peaceful planet. We would have a better, safer, more healthy, more prosperous future. So share the videos, like, thumbs up, smarten up. <laughs> Today's video is just a quick note. If you find yourself unable to drive and you need to get somewhere, it's April 2022. So Uber is still requiring the drivers to wear masks, but not, it's not completely certain if the passengers need to wear masks, but there's been no word that they don't have to wear masks. So now, of course, it all also may depend on where you live. You might not even be carrying a mask around with you anymore. So check before you go. And things can change because we keep on having these variants and more people getting sick. And uh, so anyway, just got to keep that in mind. Um, Uber and Lyft, still a good idea. Um, unless you drive more than 11,000 miles a year, chances are it could save you money. That's right, 11,000 miles a year. Um, instead of owning a car, which these days, um, th those numbers might even be a little bit uh, conservative um, because the cost of owning a car with gasoline prices, unless you own an electric vehicle, although electric vehicles often they cost a lot more to buy. So um, you would have to say like over a period of maybe five years and 11,000 miles each year, uh, it would be less expensive to own a car if you used Uber or Lyft more than 11,000 miles a year, then you would be losing money compared to just owning a car. Now, I recommend that you bicycle, maybe even go for electric scooter. How about that? How about, um, you know, taking a skateboard or walking, you know, good old walking. And frankly, you need to live closer to work, school, or shopping wherever we need to reorganize our society to stop using so much energy. Uh, we know that right now, of course, we're polluting the environment, causing cancer, asthma, and other problems with the tailpipe emissions. There's no doubt about that. And uh, we can move to electric and renewable, but that still there's a lot of pollution associated, even with just creating the renewables. Um, it takes a lot of energy and there's a lot of pollu pollution and a lot of heat given off and um, just driving with the rubber tires that creates uh, the, the rubber uh, particles that get into your lungs and uh, possible th those are also dangerous considering all the chemicals that are in there so high traffic areas if you live in a city which most people probably do now um, these terrible high-rises which cause um, dense traffic People think, oh, you know, population density, oh, then they don't have to travel so much. No, people are still driving all over the place because they don't live close to work because of all the insane um, regulations and uh, zoning and everything that we have on this planet. And so we need to change that, make every place walkable and uh, really encourage people to be more healthy, you know, Go exercise and walk walk to work, walk to school, and walk to shopping, groceries, uh, in a clean environment where you're not gonna be breathing toxic pollution. So let's consider that. And I know I'm encouraging Uber riding and Lyft riding, but actually encouraging more bicycling. Look at that, wonderful electric solution right there. So that's the idea for today. Take care, folks. Maybe move closer to where you work and shop. Bye now.